Welcome back to Requirements Engineering. I have a short one for you today. So this one is about refining requirements. Refining requirements means once I have defined my requirements on the system level, how do I get down to the more detailed subsystem requirements that I need on the subsystem level? Let's have a system and a subsystem on here. So my system is this one. It has an input and it has some outputs. And so what I describe at this level is the so-called black box behavior, denoted by BB. And then when I look into the system in the next step, I gotta break this down. So now we are in a white box view. And we have systems S1 and S2 communicating with each other and helping to process my input into an output. So once I've developed my requirements up here, and the architect of the system has taken the first decision of, oh, these are gonna be the two subsystems. And then it goes back to the requirements engineer who then has to refine the requirements of the system into the requirements for S1 and the requirements for S2. Now, how do we do that? we need two concepts for being able to perform this. One is called decomposition and the other one is called refinement. So the idea of decomposition is I had one system before and now I have two subsystems. So I need to take my one requirement and understand what does that mean if I rephrase that requirement for subsystem one and if I rephrase it for subsystem two. So if my requirement was when I press on the brake pedal in my car, the car shall slow down. Now I have several subsystems involved that help me make that come true. My subsystem one could be the pedal and then the subsystem two could be the brake pad that is pressing on the tire. So the way how I decompose that is I have to ask myself what part of this requirement refers to the brake pedal and what part of this requirement refers to the brake pad that goes onto the tire. And the refinement part of this is what information do I have to add on so it makes sense on a subsystem level because if I only say, if I brake the car, the car needs to slow down, then the object brake paddle doesn't even appear in the requirement. So therefore I also need to add information on to make more sense. So I'm gonna refine this requirement into when I step onto the brake pedal with sufficient pressure. That would be another detail that I could add on. And then for the subsystem two, I would refine the requirement for the brake pad, which was also not even mentioned in the higher level requirement. So I would have to say, if the brake pedal was pressed, the brake pads press onto the tire to slow down the car, appropriate to how strongly the brake pe pedal was pressured. So both of those, decomposition and refinement, usually come together. I think about them one step at a time. I first think about the decomposition because I know I need to get from here to here. And then I add the refinement that allows me to add more details on. So the decomposition is the breakdown. And the refinement is adding details relevant to the context. Sounds very simple, right? 
now we need to go try that out with an example system because like so many techniques and requirements engineering the concept is super easy to get and it turns out it does take a little bit of practice once we start applying it ourselves.